Grand afternoon, grand afternoon. It's a beautiful Thursday here in Zone 9 AB, Southern Texas, in the burbs of Northwest Houston. The wind's blowing. A nice, nice breeze. I think it's about 84 today, but uh, the weathermen <laughs> said uh, we have a possible thunderstorm coming in tonight. Another one. So it's a calm before the storm. As you can see, all the growing food is doing well. There's that uh, dwarf peach tree over there. It's doing well, as you can see, no shock because the way I planted it. You can avoid shock when repotting fruit trees by using a technique that I showed in my other video the other day. So does that the fruit trees don't go in shock when you repot them. So there's a cacao, AKA chocolate tree. It's doing well. Everything's doing well actually. And this will be my next potting this is my soursop. I'm going to be potting this up next. Once I finish making the pot. And then I still have all these to do still. This variety of different growing fruit trees and so forth. And uh, the dragons are doing well. I gotta do some time. These dragons are really have a lot of growth. They should be budding soon. So I, I'm hoping to get some buds here soon and get my first fruit of the year, hopefully, from this group of dragons. I'm gonna have to do some tying up on the dragons because the branches are so much growth. You see, these branches are just coming off. So I have to tie these up so they can continue to go vertically. So I have different varieties three different varieties in this one pot. That's why I love dragons. You can grow a lot of different varieties of fruit like this in a limited space. So I'm hoping to see some flower buds on these soon, hopefully. And uh, when growing food, you have to be patient. Mother Nature is on her own time. Look at this jackfruit. Look at this dwarf jackfruit, putting out new leaves. Look at those new leaves. These are new leaves that are gonna be coming out. All through there, new leaves on this jackfruit. Dwarf coconut, doing well, putting out new shoots. So I'm gonna get started on my pot, working on my pot for this one. And I'll probably pop this up tomorrow because it's getting a little late. I'm working on the pot, the DIY aquaponic pot, just like all the rest of these pots, you know, that I convert into aquaponic pots. And I build the stands for them, just like that. And get this one potted up. And then it's on to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. So I get this whole group done. Like I was saying before, this is just a temporary staging area right here. All of these plants and all of these dragon fruit will be in a greenhouse in the aquaponics, new, all the new big five aquaponics systems. All this will go in those greenhouses. And they'll be watered aquaponically. That's why I'm building them this way. It's all about infrastructure. Taking my time, going it right, I'm in no hurry because this is not supposed to be, this is not supposed to be stressful. This is how I relieve stress, by growing food. I don't make stress by doing this. I, I relieve stress by doing this. I enjoy this. This is how I de-stress and unwind. If it becomes too stressful for me, then I'm doing something wrong. I'm never in a hurry when I'm, I'm doing this, when I'm building my systems. I take my time, I'm in no hurry. Because when everything's done, this is going to be a very, very nice food forest with different varieties of fruits and vegetables grown all aquaponically. 
because he's in a small urban suburban space i'm going to show you that how you can grow a lot of food you know you can grow food to feed two or three families aquaponically in a small space and i'm showing you how to do this little by little look at this cocoa tree putting out about to put out new leaves look at that that's what you want to see until next time diy aquaponics diy solar diy prepping because nobody's coming to save us oh it's beautiful 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 breeze